Hello and welcome to English News Bulletin of Halabol. Before moving to the details, at first let us have a look at the day's headlines. Congress leader Rahul Gandhi heats out at Prime Minister Narendra Modi over coronavirus vaccine distribution promise. Social elements attacking blood donation camps that implies to crisis of blood in blood banks these days. MLA Shudipra government criticized the attack on blood donation camps. Thursday, school students carried out education minister Rotul Nalnath's residence agitators led by an SUI detained under section 151 of IPC. Traffic Department of Tripura conducted massive footpath drive on Thursday in order to ensure smooth movement of traffic. Moving to the news in details, World Disability Day organized at Kailashahar's District Disability Center, MLA Movashwar Ali remained present along with other dignitaries. Under the initiative of Kailashahar District Disability Center, World Disability Day has been organized for the disabled persons. Shamil Das, Assistant President of the District Council, MLA Movashwar Ali were present as the guest of honor. District Education Officer Shamil Das, District Health Officer presided over the function as special guests. Sharadin Ryang and Harish Pal Chaudhary, Nodal Officer, District Disability Rehabilitation Center were also present. While the program was observed on Thursday, various essential commodities were distributed to the disabled. Talking to the reporters on the day's program, MLA Movashwar Ali said, The farmers in Delhi demanded immediate session of parliament to repeal the three agricultural laws. After failed attempt of the government in assuring the farmers, the next meeting has been scheduled on 5th of December. Hundreds of farmers are staying put at Delhi's borders with Haryana and Uttar Pradesh over various demands, including the repeal of the three new laws. They have expressed apprehension that the laws would pave the way for the dismantling of the minimum support price system, leaving them at the mercy of big corporates. The meeting of the former leaders with the central government will be held on December 5th next. In a meeting with the government, the former leaders suggested a special session of the parliament be called and the new farm laws be abolished. On the other hand, the Bundelkhand Kisan Union on Thursday supported farmers' demand for convening a special session of parliament to the centre's three farm laws and warned the government of intensifying the star. On the other hand, the police on Thursday closed routes on two national highways connecting Ghaziabad to Delhi as farmers remained adamant on their demand. After the three farm bills have been introduced by the centre without any discussion, Punjab Congress MLA Kuljit Singh Nagra resigned from the Lok Sabha, being the first one to start the movement and fight for the rights of the farmers. Today, the farmers unitedly are protesting against the three black laws introduced by the central government. On the other hand, government assured the farmers on minimum support price after meeting the 35 farmers group for the second time today. Agriculture Minister Narendra Tomar said that minimum support price or MSP will not be touched. He said no changes will be made to it. Bureau report, Halabol. Congress leader Rahul Gandhi hits out at Prime Minister Narendra Modi over coronavirus vaccine distribution promise. 
Congress leader Rahul Gandhi on Thursday criticized Prime Minister Narendra Modi after Union Health Secretary Rajesh Bhushan said that the center had never spoken about vaccinating the entire population against the coronavirus. The former Congress chief pointed out that the government and the ruling Bhartiya Janta Party has made three different statements on vaccination, asking the Prime Minister to clear his stance. Opposition leaders took exception to the promise and raised questions over the use of vaccines to further political agenda. Others raised doubts if states which are not polled mount will receive the same treatment or not. India has not signed a deal for a coronavirus vaccine yet so it is unclear when it will be available for use in the country. Availability of the vaccine in India will be subjected to approval by domestic regulators and the Indian government agreeing to purchase them. So far, many other nations including the United States, United Kingdom, the European Union, Australia and Israel have made deals to buy millions of doses of the vaccine. Bureau report, Halabol. Anti-social elements are attacking blood donation camps. That implies to the crisis of blood in the blood banks these days. MLA Shudipra Berman criticized the attack on blood donation camps in the state. BGP MLA and former Health Minister Shudipra Burman on Thursday attended blood donation camp organized by Valmiki Social Organization at Shahid Khudiram Palli Indranagar Agartala. Along with him, rebel MLAs of ruling party Ashish Shaha and Shushant Chaudhary also attended the program. While addressing the media at the day's program, MLA Shudipra Burman said that nowadays blood donation camps are not organized like it was used to be in previous days following which blood banks in the state are reeling with severe crisis of blood. Owing to this condition of lack of blood and blood donors nowadays, Shudipra Burman cited attack of miscreants on blood donation camps as a major reason behind it. He said, they are anti-social elements who are attacking in blood donation camps. When we search for blood in IGM or GB blood banks, they maximum time say that there is no stock. He added that there are a lot more reasons behind this crisis and attacks in blood donation camps is a major reason behind it. रक्तदान मध्य हमला हुज्युति बाधा प्राप्त यह समस्त घटना तो अपना देखे मतलब मानुषर कि कारण कि एक भीत सन्त हो पड़े Shudipra Burman added that COVID pandemic is also another reason as public are unwilling to donate blood. He requested all the NGOs, political and political groups to come forward to organize blood donation camps and this, at the same time encourage common people to donate blood at least three times in a year. The statement where Shudipra Burman alleged that antisocial elements are attacking blood donation camps came after various blood donation camps of the opposition political parties were attacked by ruling BGP party activists. Bureau report, Halabol. Thursday, school students carried Education Minister Ratan Lalnath's residence. Agitators led by NSUI activists detained under Section 151 of IPC. Exasperated school students in a rare scenario get out Tripura Education Minister Rotul Nalnath's residence on Thursday in protest of their various demands among which major was Bachar Bachao issue where huge number of students failed this year. The agitating students basically wanted to place the issues of Bodhram Nagar school in front of the Education Minister. Reportedly, the school was undergoing severe crisis of teaching staff and there was no attempt of the Education Department to fill up the vacancies of teaching posts resulting the school in 
capital town Agartala severely suffering due to shortage of teachers and because of this the education of students was hampered to a great extent. The students raised allegations that there remain shortage of subject teachers and moreover the burden crisis of COVID when schools remain closed their studies have faced extreme loss. But no one came forward to answer their queries and the agitators including the NSUI activists who were leading the protest were detained under section 151 of IPC. In this regard, police personnel of West Agatala Police Station said, the NSUI activist asked the education minister Rotul Nanath that why is he afraid of student protest? They also criticized on the education department's constant changing decisions on school reopening, which is confusing the students. Bureau report, Halabol. The traffic department of Tripura conducted massive footpath drive on Thursday in order to ensure smooth traffic movement in Agatala city. Thursday, Tripura traffic department conducted massive footpath expedition in Agatala city. The enforcement drive was conducted by the traffic department in order to ensure enough space for smoother traffic flow, easy movement of pedestrians on the footpaths that are currently encroached by hawkers and their stalls. Talking on the day's enforcement drive, DSP traffic Koheli De Burma said, as the roads at both sides are filled up with footpath hawkers, there is not enough space for parking also. Therefore, in order to ensure smooth flow of traffic and pedestrians, we have started the drive. Actually, Rastapura Dokkal Kora is a parking place tonight. Shikaro Namra is the action with us. Jatora, Dokki Nishmukko, Dukala Dikura Rathi. Public and city department. Parking is a proper parking place. Jatora, the car is a car. So, we are going to have the action. She added that the footpath drive will continue for few more days in the Agatala city. Notably, the footpath of major roads in Agatala city has been occupied by illegal hawkers, many of them who have even placed their stalls in sections of the road, barricaded and mocked by traffic cops as no parking zones. Although the drive, if continued with efforts, will prove fruitful for smooth traffic movement, parking facilities and pedestrians, but on the other side, the footpath hawkers who work hard day and night to earn two times mill will be affected hardly. The government in this case must think about this poor businessman also. Bureau report, Halabol. Local train hit with passengers got stuck in middle way while coming to Agatala from Dharmanagar railway station. Passenger train crippled in the middle of the way incident took place in Lakhai Bazar area adjacent to Teliamura railway station. Passengers led to suffer to a great extent. According to the details of the incident, local passenger train carrying passengers from Dharmanagar to Agatala departed from Dharmanagar railway station. The train resumed its journey with passengers at Teliamura railway station. But after going some distance from the area adjacent to the Teliamura railway station, it crippled due to some mechanical problems. The passenger train that got stuck in the middle way led to extreme sufferings of the passengers. Since the train service started in Tripura, many government employees, laborers and many other commuters travel from North Tripura to Agartala on this train. The passengers complained that the train got stuck there for almost more than one and a half hour which was disrupting the attendance of government employees at the time of work. Moreover, it could be noticed that 
In the current ongoing crisis of COVID pandemic, there were heaps of passengers in the train breaking the protocols of COVID pandemic where social distancing norms could not be seen maintained. Many didn't even have masks on their face. Passengers were seen hanging like monkeys inside the train while many were sitting on the floor of the train. Moreover, when a railway employee was asked about this, he didn't cooperate and refused to say anything about it. Here question arises that when there is a risk of second surge of COVID outbreak and already people are reeling with this crisis yet, such type of crowding in the trains where COVID protocols are not at all maintained will contribute to the adverse effects in future or not? Will the railway department take the responsibility if the number of positive cases increase all of a sudden? Bureau report, Halabol. Jirania police seized around 58 kilo ganja stock based on a secret information driver and assistant detained by the police. Around 58 kilo ganja stock has been seized by Jirania police on late night hours of Wednesday. In this regard, SDPO Shuman Majumdar said that the truck bearing number TR01V1 581 was seized by police that was carrying huge amount of cannabis. The raid was held at Hatai Kator, previously known as Boromura, based on a secret information. Also, two persons were detained in this connection. Uh, at the late uh, uh, Laga, the number the arrested persons are namely Sajid Hossein, driver of the truck and his assistant Jasimuddin. One of them is resident of Agatala and the other belongs from Karimganj. However, further steps will be taken by police after thorough investigation. Bureau report, Halabol. Well, here we conclude the English Bulletin at this moment. For more news and updates, keep tuning into Halabol.